after completing from the image options now we are going to teach you the layers so we have to know about the each and every options of the layers for that reason we are going to open a white new file and that file is treated as a background the background is showing over the layer palettes now we are going to make some shape press alt backspace for the color now that is over the background if i want to move that particular shape we can't because the background is already locked so if you want to move that particular shape you have to you have to make other new layer for the reason you have to create a new layer below the within that color layer palettes there is one option call that icon is called create a new layer okay and we can get a new layer now we can move that one now once again we are uh, creating another new layer and making one elliptic selection circular selections pressing control backspace or uh, alt backspace now the shape is created now we can change the color control backspace now that layer we can move that is treated as a layer 2 the layer 1 if we want to move we can't before that we have to select the layer 1 now if i want to move if i want to move the layer 2 then we can't move the layer 2 because the layer 2 is not selected if i want to move the layer 2 you have to select the layer 2 then you want we can move now if i want to put that layer 2 beyond the background we can't do that because background is a last layer and base layer which layer is already locked now if i want to move both the layer simultaneously then i have to lock the layers and i can move both the layer simultaneously now once again locked is remove and i can move each and every layer individually now select the layer 1 the red color is going to move now we are going to drop we are going to drop this one to create the same type another layer which is the copy of a layer 1 now layer 1 is this one copy of layer 1 is this one this is actually used how many times you want the duplicate lower you can create just drop down the layer over the create button and that many layers is going to appear on the screen now we are going to delete one by one layer just drop down over the trust trust can icon the layer is going to delete it it's going to delete now just one layer is remaining now once again we are going to make one clone now we are going to change the opacity of copy layer 2 we can change the opacity according to our choice now there is another option called normals dissolve darken multiply to know all that options we have to open an image file we are going once again to open another file now 
we are going to move the shear photo into the scenery now we are maximize that one we are going to maximize before that we have to adjust with the image now we can see what are the effect is providing this is the first one dissolve second is darken we can see the effect multiply color burn linear burn lighten screen color dodge linear dodge overlay soft light hard light vivid light linear light pin light differences exclusion hue saturation color and luminosity the basic was normal now we are going to close that particular file